Hey, what's up you guys? Chris and Team Aquascape here. Right now we are heading to go pick up the lumber for the next step in the fish retailing experience construction process. Woo! It'll be the closest thing we've ever built to like a zoo exhibit. He's so multi-talented, folks. He's also excellent at playing Parcheesi and making hors d'oeuvres. So hey. at least we can get started. I really like the clean shave right there. Is this a different look for uh, the indoor build? It is. Let us know what you guys think of Chris's new face. Do that. Mm -hmm. Comments down below. <laughs> so we are here at Heinz Lumber here in Montgomery, Illinois. Um, it looks like some of our material is already staged right out there, and then they got another pile all the way back over there. We'll see how this goes. Hopefully, they got everything. We actually were only able to get two of the pallets on. We have two and a half more to go. Mike, Carl, my buddy, softball buddy, is a sales guy out here and he's gonna do us a solid and he's actually gonna deliver the last half of this load, which will be a huge help to us because then it'll save us a trip back out here to uh, Montgomery, Illinois, which is about a half hour away from the shop. So big shout out to Heinz Lumber. Thanks for getting our material to us very, very quickly. It helps keep us on schedule. Enough jibber jabber, let's get back to Aqualand. All right, things are definitely moving along. Last time I was here, there was an old pond over in that corner that held all of our uh, turtles and there was a catfish and stuff in there. I think we counted over 15 turtles in that pond. Over here, it used to be where the skink, carpet python, and the Mata Mata turtle sat. Right here in the center is where this was. Our Asian water monitor used to sit over there and so now we've cleared all of this stuff out and we're ready to start construction over in this area is going to be all fish retailing systems we're going to build all of this out we have a bog filter behind that blue line that's going to feed into this area over here is where the new asian water monitor enclosure is going to go plus our turtles we, ha we don't have it taped out yet but this is going to be more of our high-end japanese koigo and then some tanks in front of it i'm hoping we have enough real estate right in here to get a little couch kind of looking at that section so normally you build all this stuff out of boulders right and so that open floor plan would normally be lawn this time we're building inside of our office and i'm actually walking through the warehouse now because chris just called and said our building materials are here let's go check and uh, see if he got it all well there he is right on time it's not boulders like we normally use it's a bunch of six by six inch timbers in fact we need hundred and forty of these guys by the looks of it now I don't normally deal with lumber that does not look like hundred and forty timbers Chris what did, no okay it's good, good. My eyes, my eyes aren't playing tricks on me. <laughs> They're gonna do us a solid and deliver the other half tomorrow morning. So at hey, least we can get started. I really like the uh, the clean shave right there. Right here. So different, like actually you've gone like got all of this, mm -hmm. this, and this. Mm -hmm. Is this a different look for uh, the indoor build? It is. All right, it good. Is. Hey, let us know what you guys think of Chris's new face. Do that. Mm -hmm comments down below <laughs> this will obviously get us started so all of these fish retailing systems are going to be built out of six by six timbers a bunch of the monitor area is going to be built out of timbers plus some two by four wall constructed stuff and some other stuff i can't wait to show you the other things that are going to go in there but first thing we got to build are these fish retailing systems so let's get this stuff unloaded and we'll go from there this ought to be good mm -hmm. where's your seatbelt? He's so multi-talented, folks. He's also excellent at playing Parcheesi and making hors d'oeuvres. Now that we have the entire area cleaned up and down to that blank canvas. It is now time to get with Brian, see what his creative mind is thinking up for this fish retailing experience. I know his, his brain has been marinating this for a couple months now. I'm sure he's got something special cooking. So why don't we go check in with him at the design center? Mm, I think we're in the right place. Let's see how he's 
concentrate. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, sneaky. Because I think I got it. Explain to people, because all this looks beautiful. You did a great job with the Crayolas. Hey, thanks, buddy. Everybody Boom. Will, will definitely agree can, with me. Yeah, especially when you say Crayolas, I can tell how sincere you are. Obviously, you guys can out there can see how talented uh, Brian is and how his brain just continues to evolve as he puts the pencil to the paper. What you've explained to me, and I want you to explain to our audience, is What's the whole premise behind this project that we're working on? We called it the fish retailing experience. Is kind of what you've dubbed it. Well, the catalyst to it, Greg went out to Japan and was gonna bring in high-end Japanese imported koi. And I wanted to give the customers a different shopping experience. If we're gonna home really expensive koi and retail those, I wanted a higher end looking area. Also, Greg's reptile zoo <laughs> seems to keep morphing into something a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger. And the cages that those things are in just aren't allowing those animals to grow or live to their fullest potential. Mm -hmm. um, Woody, the mascot to the company, should have something awesome to live in. Now there's actually a purpose for everything we have back there. We have three different designs. And let me show you the first really quick, then the second, then the third. Okay. So you'd walk in, this was gonna be a big tank like this, and then this was gonna be a big tank over here. Bog filter was gonna feed 11 different smaller fish retailing areas. This was just gonna be for high-end koi. What I didn't like about this is it didn't stretch my imagination too much. It was basically a big rectangle here, a rectangle here and a rectangle here. So then I came up with this one, which I really liked a lot. This was gonna be the main koi pond. There, this was gonna be a bridge. Then there was tanks over here and tanks here. Hmm. I really like this one because more of an adventure kind of around it and different little rooms. The thing it was really missing though was traffic flow. Hmm. I hated that when you got over into here, it was just kind of a dead end. So then I did kind of a hybrid of both. So then I came up with this one, and this is the one, this is the one. <laughs> this is the one, okay. This is the tank, the main tank. Mm. I pulled these back a foot, so instead of 11, now we have 13. It also gave us more real estate this way. Mm -hmm. By pushing that back a foot, I made this main tank narrower, which then gave me room for four more tanks on this side. High-end Japanese koi in here, more of like our six inch to 10 inch ones. Okay. These are gonna be more expensive koi. These anywhere from 500 to maybe $1,000 a piece. Okay. My favorite part is you come in this way, the goal right now is to put a piece of glass right here so you can see through to this tank below the water level. Mm -hmm. You can walk up these stairs over a cantilever deck that hangs out over this water Underneath the deck is our bog filter for this, mm -hmm. which I really love. This is an intake bay, so water will get pushed through jets from this corner, this corner. Water's gonna get pushed from these tanks this way, pushed from the bog filter this way, and all pulled through an intake bay sitting right here. Neat. Uh, you'll come down some stairs this way, and this area right here is the monitor slash alligator snapping turtle slash painted turtle exhibit, and that's this one. It's gonna be awesome. Hold it up for a second. Looks like there's quite a bit going on in there. Right, for a small space, it'll be really cool. It'll be the closest thing we've ever built to like a zoo exhibit. That Asian water monitor is not getting any smaller. Over here will be where Woody sits. Mm -hmm. He'll be separated from the Asian water monitor, which gets all of this space. He's going to get trees to climb up on, big rocks to climb up on, some basking areas. We have a double door for safety. Basking areas for turtles, that over here, here, and here. Some deep spots can look over the deck down into the water here or come down the stairs and look through glass windows mm -hmm. that allow you to see into here. And so this will be a 10 foot tall exhibit with all kinds of cool stuff for that monitor. And most important, easier for the retail store to maintain. So next step, get everything taped out on the floor, mm -hmm. make sure it all looks good, 
And uh, if it looks good when it's taped out on the floor, because on a piece of paper, you have a, an idea of what it's gonna look like. But once you see it taped out, it gives you a different perspective as you wanna walk through it. Once it's taped out, we'll see if it works. And then let's go into building this. All of this right here is just gonna be built out of timbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then we can come back and, and see what it looks like. We'll kind of walk through it and see what makes sense. Cool. Let's go. Cool.